So first, let me show you how to access it. If you go to your settings and if you come down here, you should see the screen time option. So if you click screen time, this is how you access the first page of screen time. Another way I like to get to it is if you slide left here, you could actually press edit on your widgets. If you scroll all the way down on your widgets, press edit and screen time is a widget. So you basically, let me just go ahead and press minus to remove it. And if I come down here and look for screen time here, I could go ahead and press the plus sign and I could go ahead and add it to the widget here. So now it's on the bottom, I'm gonna press done. So every time I wanna get to it, I just go to the left of the screen here, press screen time and it launches it. That way I don't have to launch it through the general setting. So here on the very top, you have your overall screen time. So how much you've spent on your phone today. So if I click that, it will break it down for me for today. So if I go down, I could either see it by different apps that I used or just general category. So I just show apps or website or general category that will switch off between the two. And I could press more to see all the things that I've used. And on each one for messages, for example, if I click it, it shows me specifically all about that. And on the very bottom, I could add a limit. So by adding a limit, I could tell my phone, hey, I only wanna use this for 30 minutes a day. And I could set that limit for myself. So let me go back to today again. This is true for all the different apps that you have. So on Instagram, for example, I could add a limit. For Safari, I could add a limit. And all those have individual settings. So that's your today activity. I'm gonna slide all the way down. It also shows you pickups. So eight times per hour I've picked up my phone today and the notifications that I have is underneath that. And on the very top, you have last seven days. If I click that, it shows me the last seven days. I've actually reset this recently, so it's really only showing me today because I reset it before recording this video. Let me go back to the home screen one more time. So underneath screen time, right on top, you have some options. Downtime, app limits, always allowed, and content and privacy. So downtime, it means if you click that, you could turn that on and tell it, hey, from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m., I don't wanna do anything with my phone, so don't show me anything. And that will kind of set a downtime reminder for that. And then under app limits, if I click that, I could add limits to all the different apps. Now, I showed you how to do that on the previous page, but you could do this by category. So for example, social media, I could add a limit. That way, Instagram, Snapchat, things like that, I could say, hey, for one hour a day, that's all I could do that. So that's how you would set that limit. And you would also delete that here if you wanted to. So I'm gonna just jump back in here. Under that, there's always allowed. Always allowed means all these apps, messages, FaceTime, and Maps are always allowed. And you could add other apps that are always allowed. That means even during downtime, these will be allowed. So if you don't want Snapchat to have any downtime, for example, if you said downtime, you could go ahead and add that here. All you would have to do is go to the app and then press plus sign. So let me go all the way down to Snapchat, press plus, and now that app is always allowed. So that's the always allowed section and content and privacy restriction. You could go ahead and turn that on right on top. And this has a lot of different options. So I recommend you look through it and set up some content and privacy. If you're using this as a parent, this is really a good page to explore. So those are the four things. And then underneath that, use screen time passcode. So you could just set this. So this will require a screen time to view. And you could also set it to increase the time limit when the time limit expires. You would have to set a screen time passcode over here to make sure you could increase that limit. Then you have share across devices. If you wanna do that, you have set up screen time for family underneath and underneath all of that, you should have turn off screen time. So this would just turn it off, it won't record. So if I turn it off, it's gonna turn off this whole app on my phone. But underneath that, on some devices I've noticed there is a reset data, mine does not have that. So if you wanna reset your data and you don't have that, all you would have to do is press turn off screen time, press it again, and then it will turn it off in a second. And now if I click it back on, it's gonna give me the intro pages. I'm gonna say this is my iPhone and it's gonna turn it back on, but it resets all your data. So this is what I did before recording this video a few hours ago, but this is a way to reset your data if you don't have that option on the very bottom. Just turn off screen time, turn it back on and it will reset everything. So now if I go here, it basically doesn't have any more data. Seven days or today, everything has been reset.